Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and today I have a quick impression video. We're taking a look at the Ariat Everlight Vapor Boot. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. Back in December, I did a gift guide video with Ariat and the boots that were featured in that video were these Everlight Vapor Boots. And ever since then, I wanted to do a little bit closer look into what you actually get with the Everlight Vapor Boot. So that's what we're doing today. But before I begin, I want to remind you all to subscribe, please. Only a quarter of you are actually subscribed to my channel. And if you want to make sure that you stay up to date on all of the Cowboy Boot content and all of the music content that I do, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now. And if you already have, like this video, help me out and break that YouTube algorithm. And if you want to go the extra mile, hit that bell so you get notifications every time I upload. Now let's talk about this Ariat Everlight Vapor Boot. Looking at this boot quick, it's got some things that I like, but also some things that I'm not so fond of. But to make sure that we don't miss any one thing in particular, let's get into the rundown. The Ariat Everlight Vapor Boot is described on the Ariat website as being full grain leather. However, this one feels more of like a new book that gives it a velvety feel on the top of it. And that's only with the distressed tan color, it appears, which is this boot. The other two colors, Palomino and Bar Top Brown, appear to be the full grain leather through and through without that new buck feel. On the website, it says full grain leather. This might come in and you might be surprised about it if you do choose the distressed tan color, but that's why you're watching this video and that's something that you should know before ordering this color in particular. That new buck leather also runs up to the top of the boot and it does feel really nice where we will also find a five stitch pattern in the shaft with a really bright blue. I like it, it's almost reflective. It's so blue, don't you think? Now let's move down and talk about the heel. This is a composite block Stockman heel. Feels like it's a plastic of some sort and it's painted to look like it's stacked leather, although it is not. This is a block. This is one of the things that I'm not so fond of that Ariat does very frequently. They make it look like they have stacked leather heels by making lines or impressing lines into their heels. And I just feel like it's kind of a fake look. Make a stacked leather heel or don't, right? Don't try to be something that you're not. And speaking of something that you're not, this is a wide square toe with a double stitched welt. But again, here we have a fake double stitched welt. The two stitches do not run through the sole. So this is just for fashion right here. It's not doing anything. The stitching will run through probably on the inside that is coming through this Everlight outsole. So these double stitched lines out here, they're, they're not doing anything. Everything that is on a boot should be doing something. So the fact that you have two things on this boot, two features with the double stitched welt look, not a true double stitched welt, and a painted stacked leather heel, it's kind of misleading and it, I'm not so fond of it. Now let's move to the outsole. This is their Everlight outsole, and it's something that they're promoting as being lighter than a lot of other rubber outsoles that you'll find, even maybe from Ariat themselves with the Duratread outsole. I'm getting the impression that it's a combination of what they were doing with the Bantamweight outsole, but also trying to go for the durability of what they have with their Duratread outsole. Now let's move on into the inside. We have a synthetic mesh lining here and it makes it pretty light and it's supposed to give you a lot of air circulation. I personally have never had a problem with just regular leather lined cowboy boots. In fact, I think they're the best. I think you get plenty of circulation and breathability through the leather themselves. So mesh lining is going to be a cost savings for them. I feel like you are always better off getting a leather lined cowboy boot. 
Down around the foot, it is lined with cloth. And for an insole, we have again their 4LR cushion insole, except it is different from the other two 4LRs that we've seen on this channel in the past. I really like the 4LR insoles that are in the area circuit line that are made in Mexico. These boots are made in China and the ones that are made in China just aren't as good feeling. And we've seen green 4LRs. Now this is a black 4LR all day cushion that is different even still. So I don't know how to help you guys figure out which 4LR insoles and which all day cushioning and massage. Like there's so many different 4LRs. This is a third one that we've seen on this channel and it's very, very confusing. I asked Ariat about that and they said that they're just discontinuing the 4LR insoles altogether. They're beginning to phase them out. So hopefully they have dialed in where they want to take their all day cushioning or their cushioning insoles and will help us out with that in the future. However, you may find some of the boots that have 4LR insoles in them around maybe in mom and pop stores or on their website or on somebody else's website. Just know that it is very difficult to figure out which 4LR insole is in which boot. I would say that your best bet is in the 4LR insoles that are coming out of Mexico made boots with Ariat. Hopefully they make it easier on everybody in the future so that you know exactly what you're getting from them at any certain time. But let's try it on and see how it looks and feels. I am noticing that they are a little bit lighter than what you would usually get from a rubber outsole. Um, the leather is kind of stiff and doesn't feel like it's the best, but that's what you're going to get at the price point as well. Still that outsole is kind of flexible and lighter than what it felt like in my hands. Now that it's on my feet, I can definitely tell that it is lighter than several other rubber outsole boots. Now, it is comfortable. That 4LR insole, the all day cushioning 4LR that's in this one is definitely better than the green one that I tried in the Ariat Sport boot, but still not nearly as comfortable as the one that you're gonna find in the Mexican made circuit lines, whether it be the Circuit Patriot or the Circuit Pro or any other circuit boot that is coming out of Mexico made by Ariat. So it's, it's decent. Uh, I don't like the heel look at all. The heel just looks sort of uh, fake. I don't like a fake look. However, the leather does look good. I like the distressed look of it. However, it is something that you might not be expecting when you order this boot. I like it better than the Sport, like I said, but I don't like it better than several of the other Ariat boots that I've tried this year. I like the Roper better, still the Heritage Roper. I like the Circuit Patriot better, still. And I like the Bantamweight better still, but it is definitely better than the Rambler. So here they are, if you were looking down at them, the double stitched welt with that white stitching does pop and it draws your eye to them, but just know that it's also just for looks. Like that double stitched well isn't doing anything at all. To me, it kind of feels like Ariat phoned it in on this one. Sure, they got a nice outsole. I like what they're doing with the more durable, lighter material that has some traction there, but I feel like the rest of the boot is just sort of meh. It's just whatever. I think that you could get a better boot from Ariat at a lower price. Like I said, the Heritage Roper is better and the Mexican made Circuit Patriot or Circuit Pro is a very similar price to what these are and overall a better boot. So I think that you'd be better off going with a Circuit Patriot or a Mexican made boot than this Everlight Vapor, in my opinion. All right guys, so I like Ariat as a company. 
they innovate all of the time and I feel like there needs to be that innovation in the Western wear market because that's how we grow. That's how we learn what we like and introduce new things into a very traditional form of footwear. However, they do hit and miss sometimes and I feel like this one's a miss. There's just a lot here that I'm not fond of. I don't like the fake double stitched welt. I don't like the fake leather stacked heel look with this plastic heel. I don't like the mesh lining. I'm not a super huge fan of that. And the insole is just not what we usually see from them. The 4LR out of the Mexican made area is just better. All of the time, it's just better. So for the fact that they bring some of that technology over into some of their Chinese made models and call it the same thing, but it is very different, is very misleading. And also the fact that they call this the distressed tan color, but it is a different leather than the other two colors of the same boot is also a little bit misleading. And that's something that I don't like to see from cowboy boot companies. I think they should be upfront and detailed about the boots that they are selling you. The things that I do like about this boot is that it's very colorful. Like I think there needs to be way more color in the stitching and the patterns that we're seeing in the new boots because all of these Tacovas knockoffs and Tacovas themselves, like it's just plain, simple, and sometimes boring. So to see the fact that Ariat is introducing colors into more of their lines is really exciting to me. I just feel like the disadvantages of this boot, the negatives of this boot outweigh the positives. But let me know what you think of the area Everlight Vapor boot down in the comments. Am I missing the mark here? Is there something about this boot that you love that I didn't see in it? Let me know because I'm very interested. You know, I like Ariat. They are a huge supporter of this channel, but sometimes I feel like they try too much and sometimes miss the mark with it. So and I feel like this is a prime example of one of those situations. Please subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you guys around. If you've made it this far in the video, you are the best, and I'm wishing you a spectacular day. Thanks for watching. Peace. Have a good one. I like how Ariad innovates, but that means sometimes they miss the mark on what they make. And they missed it here with the Everlight Vapor just a bit. So if I was to buy a new pair of boots, I wouldn't pick it. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Let me know what you think of the Ariad ever light vapor down in the comments and I'll see you next time peace have a good one